Subscribe Smart Tech Magic's channel and hit the bell icon beside it and on the bell icon select all to watch latest tech videos before anyone else. Hello, myself Darshan Kumar Dash. Once again, welcome back to my YouTube channel, Smart Tech Magics. Guys, are you facing any problem using PyCharm software? If yes, then this is the right video you are watching because here I am also facing a problem using the PyCharm software and today I am going to solve it. For example, okay, let me go to PyCharm software. Now I am opening PyCharm software. So Python software takes some time to open. I'm closing it. Opening the same thing. Same project. No interpreter is assigned. Assigning on interpreter. Now Python 3.7 is assigned. At least it will open the output page. But after opening, there we will face a problem. I mean, I was facing a problem. Let me see if I can solve it or not. Now this thing came. Now let me try to take the attendance. So you can see, take attendance is not working. Even if I do new registrations, then also images will be not taken. You can see it's just coming here and it will stop after some time. Wow! Images are taken. That's impressive. It's taking images. Eureka! I'm saving the profile. Profile is not saving, I think. Here only I am facing some problems out here. This take attendance part is not working. But luckily this take image part worked out. Okay now I am simply closing it. He is saying such errors are coming. So what we have to do is I am just simply uninstalling this python software. Uninstalling PyCharm. PyCharm is not here. I don't know where the PyCharm has gone. I think we need to uninstall it in a different manner. Yes, we need to uninstall in this way. Now I'm uninstalling Python. Completely it will un get uninstalled. So don't worry. Ignore all these messages. Even I will delete this part also. I will delete this. No, it's let me keep it like this. Now I will install PyCharm again from this official website.
Now we'll install the PyCharm Community Edition. So it's showing. I'm downloading it here only. It's a 371 MB file, so it will take few minutes, 41 seconds. Downloading speed depends on your internet speed. It's downloading PyCharm. Now the PyCharm Community Edition get downloaded. Now I'm going to install it again. Run. Now it need one GB of space to install. It's again installing. It will take some time to install. It's extracting to install the software on your setup. Will get installed on our computer and it's almost done. Just click on reboot now and then say finish. Now the PC is restarting. So now I have restarted my PC. Now I will drag this PyCharm software to to here i'm dragging it now let's open pycharm software opening it it's taking some time okay now in the same way i will Open the project again. I'm opening that project. It's loading. The project is completely loaded. Now, let me try to change the interpreter. Let me try to run the code. Hopefully this time it will run. A small error is occurring. Let me change the interpreter further. Let me add an interpreter in that way and not from here i will be using let's use system interpreter and press ok now interpreter is updating Now I hope the code will run. Let's see. I think it's running. Now I can take the attendance. Let's see. It's coming slowly but hopefully this time I can take the attendance. So now you can see I can easily take the attendance even using PyCharm software. So that's it.
Now I'm closing PyCharm software. That's my entire video. So thanks for watching. If you like this video and find this video helpful, then please hit the like button. Like target is only 50. Please help me to complete my target. And if you haven't subscribed my channel, then please subscribe it and tap the bell icon beside it. And all the bell icons select all to watch my latest videos for anyone else. So once again, thanks for watching. See you soon in my next video. Until then, stay happy, stay safe and goodbye.